Welcome back to the Ohio Fisherman, everybody. Tonight, we are going to go over my favorite baits for the fall casting for Lake Erie Walleye along the shoreline here. Um, with fall coming up, the cooler temps, i got two things on my mind, and that's going to be musky and a shore casting for Lake Erie Walleye. Uh, living in Akron, I'm about 45 minutes away, so it's... Not too bad of a drive. Uh, so let's get started on my, some of my favorite baits and why I like them. Here we have X-Tackle. Um, you probably haven't really heard of them. In fact, last season, I was the only guy I knew up there that was casting them at all. Now these are the 6-inch shallow divers. When they say shallow divers, don't let it fool you. These still go pretty dang deep. Um, I think... Uh, up to like 10 foot casted, but they're suspending. Um, they do have deep divers that go down very deep, but they have, uh, well, I want to say like 50 different colors on their website. That would be X tackle. But I like these. These go down pretty deep up to 10, but they're suspending. And why I like these is I can twitch them so slow in the deep water. You wouldn't be casting these where you're fishing uh, real shallow rocks, you know, like five, six foot. But when you're casting off of uh, deep, deep harbor walls, uh, piers and whatnot, you want to go with something like this. Uh, if the walleye are hitting a little bit deeper. And these, you can just reel these so slow. A couple cranks to get them down, and they get down there deep. And they suspend, like I said, and you can just barely twitch these and a lot of the fish i get are on the paws so those are going to be x tackle uh shallow divers really nice lure run about 750 a pop a lot of different color patterns really good here we have i only got a couple in these last year but green oh another thing these they cast a mile too three quarters of an ounce heavy lure another reason i really like them three quarters of an ounce real heavy really like that about them cast a mile now we got walleye nation creations wnc reapers here uh these are the shallow reapers um and um you know what i only got a couple fish off of them last year i really didn't give them uh as much time as i wanted to they don't go down too deep they do suspend um they only go down a few foot they do suspend. The one thing I don't like about them, though, versus, like, the X-Tackle, though, is the castability. First of all, I love the profile on these. I mean, that is a gorgeous shad profile. In fact, the one that I got them on a couple times last year was this one. It's called Daddy Issues. <laughs> like stripper glitter, you know. And you've got some seaweed left on it, so. Uh, yeah, that one got me a couple last year. But I didn't give them as much time. With me, I should have, but it's it's the castability. You know, these are a lighter lure. Um, maybe I'll give them a little more of a shot, uh, maybe in some of the shallower waters. But uh, the castability isn't the best on them. But I love that profile. I might even try trolling those for some uh, musky off my planer boards. Well, if they don't smash them, but. I do like them. I like the profile. I like the color patterns on them. But the castability kind of sucks. But I feel like I give them more time. They would have worked pretty good. Oh, and these boxes I got. Man, I just finished organizing them. These are fantastic. Look at that double-sided action there. I got these off Amazon. They were like $6.50, $16.50 a pop. Sounds a little pricey, but man, look at that. The other boxes I was using is just Tangle City. Your hands are freezing. You're fishing in the dark. The bite is hot. You don't want to be switching around lures. Now, here we got one of everybody's favorites. Shallow Diving Bandits. Shallow Diving Walleye Bandit. Um, top, top-notch lure right here. Everybody likes them. Five-eighths of an ounce. Compact profile. Uh, these cast a mile. Uh, if you noticed, I got a lot of customs, too. I'm really into the customs, but that doesn't mean anything. Sometimes you just, you could throw a stick out and get them if you twitch it right, but 
you notice I go, I pretty much uh, go shiny or bright. You know, either a kind of chromish pattern or bright. Uh, some really good looking patterns here. Love them. Oh, my dude Mikey that passed. This was his favorite right there. The red eye solid chrome. He says it worked twice as what well, works twice as good as the black body there. Sweared by that uh, solid chrome. Watch him bang out like three and like five casts on that. So the shallow diving, uh, these cast out. Now they do float. That's the one thing I don't like about them. Because a lot of times I get my walleye on the paws with the suspending lures. Um, I do a pause. I barely twitch it. it. When you think that you are fishing slow, you need to fish slower. Especially when the water really cools down. I mean, it took me a while to figure out how fast, I mean, how slow I really need to fish. But uh, these, you don't twitch and pause these. You do a very slow, steady retrieve because they do float and you got to keep them down there. Um, so these aren't really a twitcher. These are just a slow, steady reel. And that's going to be the Bandit Shallow Walleye Diver. Now next, we're going to get into another one of my faves here. But those will go good for your shallower water also. Just fish them really slow so they don't go down too deep. So those are better for some of your shallow water also. Now here we have Smithwick P10s. Now, if you want to get some good color, pal, I'll tell you what, you know, during that COVID stuff, the mold went down. It was really hard to get a hold of these guys. Were, you heard, what would you do for a Klondike bars? So what would you do for a pink lemonade P10, you know? So we got some customers in here. We got some standards. Everybody loves the Marvin. Everybody loves the pink lemonade. Um, this is actually a custom little different Cromer pink lemonade, but check out this one. Oh man, that looks good. That looks good. I really like the yellows. Those look those are some customs there. Uh, Chrome Clown. I really like these customs. But the P10, they go down pretty deep. Uh, P10, that stands for perfect 10, you know, 10 foot. These are a suspender. These are a twitcher here. I uh, do got some glow patterns. Actually did really well. This one just smashes them right there. I tear them up on that one. Um, I tear them up. This is a glow one too. Now, sometimes they do pretty well on glow. Sometimes they don't want glow. It just depends. That's why you might say, oh my God, Carl, you got so many. Sometimes they're just keying in on the twitching, the steady reeling, a chrome, a certain color. Every night can be a little different. And when you're having a slow spell, it's nice to switch your lures. And you want to get some of those snaps. Um, you know, just some little snaps on there. The kind that lock. You don't want to get the ones that are just a straight snap. Uh, they'll, they'll just bend them out, especially if you hook into a big one. But you want to get some snaps. At least 25 pound, 30, 40 pound snap. Uh, just so it makes it real easy interchanging your lures. Because if you're not getting a bite, fishing slow and steady on something like that, on a certain color. You know, if you're not getting bites, switch your colors, switch your presentation. Definitely. Um, but these are Smithwick Perfect Tens. These are good for uh, medium to deep. And these are a twitch pause. Um. A lot of my bites are on the paws, but some nights they do like that slow and steady, but that uh, twitch and paws, man, it can be hot. And the Smithwick P10, so uh, a lot of these lures, man, they're going to fade out here. Last but not least, we are going to have, well, not last actually, good old Rapala HJ14s. Now, you, you know, you're looking at these and you're saying, man, these look a a little bit big for walleye size, Carl. I'm used to using smaller. Well, you're fishing for inland walleye. These are big Lake Erie walleye. I mean, I got a 9.2 pounder last year. A really nice fish. But these are HJ14s. Now, what I like about these is these are shallower. These are going to go down like 4 to 8. But, you know, getting it down 8, good luck. You're going to have to crank it in fast. But I fish these a lot when I'm fishing the shallower water. Um, or they're kind of walleye are biting more towards the top. This is, everybody loves this one right here. You see a lot of guys 
the blue chrome a lot of guys love that one simply love it uh, my fave is actually clown or cut a lot of them off this one last year right there the solid core look at all those walleye tooth marks man they chewed that baby up but um yeah having a different color assortment is pretty key but these they're nice you know they're suspending hj14 not the 12 not the 10 and another reason i like the bigger size is for that castability getting it way out there you know casting it out but I mean, you'll have little dinky walleyes hitting these. These are Lake Erie walleye. These aren't inland walleye. These are hyper-aggressive walleye coming in the shallow in the spring and the fall to feed in the shallow water. Uh, but yeah, these, if they're hitting closer to the top or fishing shallower water, which I do at a couple spots, you know, because I'm always moving around. I, I can sometimes hit two or three different spots in one night. Uh, you know, it just depends if they're there or not. So, that's what I got the HJ-14 for. Sometimes that UV is hot too, man. I really like that. Now over here, a lot of guys uh, many years ago, this is what they used to use at night with just rattle traps. These are ripping wraps. I actually got a slab wrap there. I just picked that up. But um, these ripping wraps right here, over here we just got some miscellaneous just user and just whatever i just threw that x wrap in there but uh these ripping wraps i throw these before it gets dark um i let them sink and bounce off the bottom there and i got one really nice walleye off of them last year i've lost a couple fish but i've got a couple really nice drum off those and when you're getting there before dark and you just want something to cast throw one of these at least you're going to catch some drum and I don't know everybody hates on freshwater drum. They're a really hard fighting fish. Some people eat them. I talked to several guys that eat them. Actually, I never have. You know, it's just taboo. Uh, maybe I'll keep a small one one time and give it a try. But I throw these before day. Like I said, um, this color seems to work out really well. You see, that's why I got most of them like that. Uh, really key in on that color. <laughs> a couple spots. I was just... Just catching drum after drum after drum after those. And while you're waiting for it to get dark, I'd rather be catching drum than nothing. That's for sure. So, that's what I use those for. Now, last but not least, we have the jointed HJ-12s. Now, I don't have the jointed H... Or, not jointed, deep diving HJ-12s. I don't have the 14s. The 14s are a little big. I got a couple of them. They're a little big, a little bulky, um, but so are these uh, deep diving HJ-12s. Uh, some nights, I'll tell you what, this one, what is Dream Sickle here? Man, I, I caught my biggest one off this actually right here. Uh, that was a really hot producer for me right there early in the season. Uh, now, I don't use these obviously where it's shallow. Um, I use these where it's deeper if I'm casting off the sea walls or a pier right there those work pretty well one thing i do like about these is you can fish these super slow i mean super slow and they still have action especially the jointed ones they got some really nice color patterns on them here with this one they are really nice color patterns on them this hot tiger is hot tiger is one of my favorites if you saw in my x taco i actually got two of them on there that Hot Tiger smashes them, but for your deeper water right here, uh, the one thing I don't like about these is a helicopter cast. Now, when you cast them, they, they helicopter around. Uh, kind of nasty. Juicy Lucy, I got a good picture of that one. One choked on that, and I was buried deep in it here. But um, yeah, these work pretty well. I like the action on them. They got a really nice wiggle. You can fish these super slow. Super, super, super slow. And they still wiggle and get down there. So that's one thing I really like about these. But definitely not using these in medium or shallow water. Just off deeper water. The only downside is, is you're not casting these into the wind. Unless you want to cast offshore because they do helicopter. 
So that's my lineup. That's what I use for uh, Lake Erie shore casting for walleye and how I fish them. I hope the video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, you know, if you watch a few of my videos, you like my content, give it a like. Go ahead the subscribe button. You can turn notifications on if you want to see them. You can turn them off if you don't want to see them. But the subscribe really helps me out. I'm getting pretty pumped to uh, start doing some Lake Erie shoreline casting. I will not uh, be going with my buddy Mikey, unfortunately, since he passed, man. Really love that dude. Really, really love that dude. Now, if I'm going to recommend uh, one color in this X Tackle that I absolutely love, a lot of guys love pink lemonade, everything too. But this hot tiger you saw me mentioning before. Man, that thing is just a killer. I shouldn't even be telling you about it, but it is what it is. I just don't give away my spots, but because it can get pretty packed up there sometimes, and that's nasty. Different spots that I fish. Um, so, yeah, looking forward to it. Uh, got a camping trip coming up at uh, Pima Tuning. Going to go there for a few days, do some variety fishing. And then October 14th weekend, I'll be down at Salt Fork for Tuesdays, just straight musky. All right, hope the fishing's good for you guys. Ohio Fisherman out.